Dopamine agonists are an effective treatment for Parkinson's, but can occasionally lead to impulse control disorders. Is it a problem? If so, how can I recognise it? Trying to get a witnessed account of, of what's normal and what's not normal, you know, from, from someone's previous behaviour, um, is, is, is vital. I have a patient who um, used to buy and sell properties and they, they made a, a lot of money out of buying and selling properties. And when started on a dopamine agonist, they bought and sold more properties and made more money. This was you know, welcomed by everybody. But of course, the risks and the transactions of, of millions of pounds you know, coming and going from bank accounts on a daily basis worried me that there was perhaps potential financial ruin if this judgment wasn't, um, um, wasn't good. Everything has to be in the context of what is, is normally um, acceptable and, and what, what people's skill sets and, and background is, is all based upon. If people have, let's say, slightly introspective behaviour and using a dopamine agonist brings them out of their shell, sometimes these side effects can be welcome and, and it's it's not something to fear. You know, people can you know, be more fun, can in, enjoy themselves more, they can, they can be slightly more extrovert. However, if someone is starting to, to do something that is you know, making them feel guilty, making them feel unwell, or is it something that they're embarrassed or ashamed about, then, then of course it is unwelcome. And spending money that, that, that they, have, they can't afford to lose, or looking at internet pornography in the middle of the night, you know, I'm not to judge that, that Noel must ever do this, but you know, if, if this is out of keeping with someone's previous personality, and this is leading to a strain on, on a marriage, then, then of course this is something that, that needs to be discussed and the doses and, and the, the different selection of drug types you know, needs, needs to be part of that conversation. If you're interested in finding out more about Parkinson's medication, then why not check out our video on the topic? And of course, subscribe for more.